Well, this is a, a little bit of a different project. Now, I was lucky enough to win the auction for these rather splendid beasts on eBay recently. Um, they are Castle Pembroke speakers from the 1980s. Um, <coughs> they are in reasonably good cosmetic condition. However, both the base uh, drivers are uh, effectively uh, gone uh, due to the fact that <coughs> the cone surround which is a sort of foamy material on both speakers is completely gone. This is not uncommon uh, on this type of speaker from that era. They basically just rot and fall apart. Um, so the base drivers will need replacing. But um, the, <coughs> the reason for this is that um, I've got castle speakers at the moment. If we just uh, pan upwards, you'll see them up there. Uh, they are castle Clydes. Now, I've had those for many, many years. In fact, I bought them new um, back in the 80s. Um, and they uh, they both had uh, replacement uh, base drivers. In fact, one's had two replacement base drivers. Um, and the reason I, I was uh, interested in these Pembrokes, um, they're obviously considerably larger than the uh, Clydes. There's nothing wrong with the Clydes. They're superb and they sound excellent. But they're only rated at 50 watts. These are rated at 100 watts. And my amplifier uh, over the years has been... Uh, upgraded and the current one is rated at 140 watts per channel so um not that i intend to <laughs> use anything like that volume it's just that these would be a better match for the for, for the amplifier um, but obviously they need some work um, i need to source a couple of replacement base drivers for them and <clears throat> i think um what i will also do um while i've got them apart is recap the uh, crossovers because um obviously the, the capacities in the crossovers are very very old and Modern ones are considerably better than the caps that were used in the first place. So, um, yeah, so the next, the first thing to do is to take the base drivers out and have a look at the crossovers. Okay, <clears throat> base driver's been removed, which was fairly easy. Um, not wood screws, actually proper, <coughs> proper screws, proper bolts into threaded tapped holes, which is nice. So I've moved, I've peeled the uh, the uh, foam back and there you can see in all its glory is the crossover. Uh, it's all intact, there's no, no problem with it, but like I said, the, those capacitors in there are, are very old. Um, so it would be a good idea to, uh, to, to whip that out and replace them. Um, as I said, the, the cabinet itself seems to be in excellent condition. It's just the, um, as you can see, the base drivers are um, somewhat uh, uh, missing bits, shall we say. Okay, well that's 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 it for now, and uh, more more of this later. Okay, well <clears throat> I've done a bit of work on these, and it was a horrible job, but I've managed to clean up. Uh, the speaker frames and the edges of the cones and get rid of all of the old glue which is really horrible stuff it's just like sort of tar consistency um, <clears throat> I found a firm online which supply allegedly um, the <clears throat> foam surrounds for these a kit to replace them to repair them so I'm thinking about possibly having a go myself um, I've also been in touch with Wilmslow Audio about the capacitors and um, they suggested that uh, I think it's their brand of uh, super sound uh, polypropylene capacitors for the small values and then the larger value, there's only one larger value in the crossover, uh, use uh, Mumford, uh, Mundorf, sorry, um, E-caps, which uh, the only problem is um, it's a 30 microfarad ca capacitor in the crossover and they only on their website do the preferred value which is 33 microfarads so <clears throat> I've got to see whether that will actually make much of a difference I need to trace the circuit out and see what it's actually doing but um, uh, that's where we are at the moment okay well this is the next stage um, after doing some research on the uh, internet I discovered that the best way uh, to do this is to actually um, remove the dust cap, which is this bit here. Um, and then you can use shims to make sure that the coil is equidistant from the magnet so that it, the, the, the cone won't rub against, the coil won't rub against the magnet when 
when the actual um, when you actually glue the foam surround in place. I managed to find a company on the net that did a foam repair kit for <coughs> this particular uh, castle speaker, and there is one of the one of the new foams. As you can see, it fits perfectly. Um, so the next the next stage is to glue the the foam the new foam onto the uh, existing cone um, and then let that dry and then you glue this edge down onto the frame and uh, um, I've actually found a company in Holland that does these um, material uh, dust caps so I've uh, ordered a couple of new ones of those on the other speaker it the, the glue had <clears throat> degraded and I was actually able to peel the dust cap off so it still has its lip but this one was the glue was still holding it firmly in place so I actually had to trim it off so that will have to be removed and uh, a new one put in place but uh, that's how far we've got so far well <clears throat> it's the following morning and um, it looks like the uh, the glue has stuck the uh, inner part of the foam to the to the uh, speaker cone quite nicely so now we have to do the next part which is sticking this outer lip down to the speaker frame so that's what we'll be doing this morning well, there we go repairs finished uh, seems to be okay uh, I'll put them back in the cabinets uh, for a for a test run I'm still waiting for the replacement dust caps but hopefully they should turn up uh, soon now uh, using the old uh, PSFL 77 as my test deck and uh, the only record I've got which is uh, royalty free uh, unfortunately is uh, this one but um, you can hear that turn up a little bit But yes, they work superbly. Now, I'm still waiting for the capacitors to arrive uh, so that I can recap the crossovers. But once that's done and the new dust caps, we've got the new dust caps, that will be it. So yeah, a successful repair. Very pleased, very pleased with it. Okay, here we here we have them all finished. Still got to do the crossovers, but the actual cones, the actual drive units are now finished. Uh, there we go. Got nice new dust caps. Looking very smart. There's the other one. Now I've got to do is try and work out how I'm going to fit them in uh, to the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have enough space for them because they're huge. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching.